These gates mark the entrance to the realm of the ninja, the secret spies of feudal Japan. Here, near the ancient imperial capital of Kyoto, the mysterious tradition was born. Ninjas use tactics of espionage and sabotage to defend their samurai lords. But if you think they are confined to the past, think again. I've practiced ninja arts since I was six years old. The master Masazo Ishida taught me, and when I reached 18, I was named the 21st head of the Ban clan Koka group. The numbers aren't exactly precise, because it's never been official, but this particular group first fought with Ban Harimana Kami 500 years ago. Kawakami is reputedly Japan's last ninja. He's a retired engineer, but he has never stopped practicing ninjutsu, the art of the ninja that's passed on mostly by word of mouth. He can climb walls, make explosives, endure extreme thirst and hunger, and his ears are so finely tuned they can hear a pin drop on the ground. Throwing steel stars and practicing martial arts are just a small part of ninjutsu. A good ninja should know his environment perfectly and should master an exhaustive number of survival techniques. At this museum, he has helped assemble the complete kit of a covert agent. Many ninja tactics exploit weaknesses and catch people unawares instead of using brute force. Look, for example, at these two hooks, especially the sharp ends. They are used to cut a hole in the wall so you can pass a hand through and open a door from the inside. Kawakami has not taken on any apprentices and is likely to be the last of his kind. But here in Iga, the tradition has not yet died out. Their martial arts are performed most days, but only to entertain tourists and wow ninja aficionados.